Most annoying pet peeves. Have you ever had a good day? Wake up on time. The sun is shining brighter than Mr. Clean's dome piece. You take a long shower. Get a good breakfast in. See your crush finally text it back after 37 days. Life is good. Then all of a sudden, one moment in time ruins your whole mood and possibly your whole day. You know, those one-off situations that make you uncontrollably mad. So today, we'll be discussing the most annoying pet peeves and some irritating moments that can happen on a daily basis. Comment down below your most annoying pet peeve and like and subscribe if you're new. This video is going to be like rapid fire. These topics are going to get ran through more than Ruby Rose. First, let's talk about when you need to sharpen a pencil in Yo, classes. Yo, I don't care if a hundred niggas ran through Ruby Rose. I'm still gonna look at Ruby Rose like she fine as hell. Gonna be another one of them. I'm, I'm gonna be the hundred and first. <laughs> Something. So you make your way over to the pencil sharpener as anybody with more than one brain cell does and you sharpen your pencil for a good 10 seconds. Now you probably think that the pencil would come out sharper than the crimson chin's jaw but you take a look down and see that shit looks like an ingrown toenail. Oh it didn't matter my. what angle or Yo, that gotta, yo, I'm so glad that I don't see these type of pencils anymore because I hate when it overlaps to the shit to the point where you have to like rip the shit. Yeah. Like you, you have to rip it so it just so that if you resharpen it, then it could work. But that gotta be one of the most underrated pet peeves ever. Position I put the pencil in, it always ended up like this. Looking like Mr. Krabs' eyes and shit. I hate these uncircumcised pencils, bro. And I swear, once this happens, it's impossible for the pencil to be restored. It's like that shit has an everlasting effect on the pencil, like the wither. At this That's point, you facts. might as well throw it away like a moldy sandwich. This is dead ass the reason why I went mechanical like Tony Stark. I guess you could say these pencils are pointless. No? Okay. Uh, fuck y'all too then next when you got the fuzziest comfiest and warmest socks on got your toes feeling like warm biscuits fresh up out the oven so you decide to take a stroll to the bathroom or something and while you're in there you take one lethal step sealing your fate you step in the most moist soap and wet puddle of water and like one of the worst no it's worse because yo i don't know yo i be rocking crocs a lot and one of the worst feelings is walking and then there, you, you if you want to get to your location you have to step on the puddle so that you have to and then when it seeps into your the holes in your shoe, oh my goodness, one of the worst feelings ever. Yeah, it's, it's, that's horrible. Forever. There's no worse feeling on planet Earth. I feel so fucking contaminated. I gotta hop in the shower immediately, bro. But don't think this just goes for socks. You ever been ready to wash your hands so you roll your sleeves up like a blunt and start washing your hands? But then you realize your sleeve starts sliding down your arm like lava. And now your sleeve has collected more water than lapis lazuli. This is the worst when you're out in public because you can't even change shirts or anything. Just walking around with a wet sleeve that takes long as fuck to dry. Next. When you're trying to plug in your charger without getting out of bed, I be stretching my body like Mr. Fantastic trying to pull off this stunt, bro. I'm convinced that cats would be cock blocking or something because this shouldn't take me 10 minutes to do y'all don't understand when i'm in my bed on some comfy shit and i want to lay down bro me getting up is basically me saying all right that's enough sleep i do not I, i'd rather extend my whole body and fall off the, the bed trying to yeah, extend to that cord as opposed to getting up i don't know it just feels like a whole task in itself do this i'm pretty sure this is just the adult equivalent of a kid trying to put that triangle toy through one of those circle holes in one of those games this shit gets even worse because most of the time i'm half asleep and can barely see it. and then i'll be trying to feel around the outlet and damn near send myself to the afterlife by thunderbolting myself like pikachu the monster under my bed is probably in disbelief i still always end up having to get up and turn on the light though anyway because even if i successfully plug my charger in it falls out like a baby tooth or how about when you wake up and realize your phone wasn't charging i'll be taking the most fire naps and then wake up and check my phone realizing the gooberish mistake that i had made no, 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 no. Another thing, yo, chat. To, I know y'all can relate to this. The people who have AirPods, when you have both of the AirPods yes. in the shit, and you think that shit was charging, and then you Your open the shit, no oh, maybe yeah. one of them charged, and the other one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I gotta be top five. Only thing though with that is, I feel like AirPods charge really fast, so. But still, it's still long, annoying, it's like, bro. It's still annoying. Sometimes I'll be sleeping, and you better I'll, hope. And then like I'll um, roll, and my AirPods be gone. Like that should be. To the, like, shadow yeah, the gulag. Taking the most fire naps and then wake up and check my phone, realizing the gooberish mistake that I had made. And you better hope that it isn't before school or work. I deadass be ready to start shedding tears, bro. There is no worse feeling. Next, you ever been washing dishes and as you stick your hand in the sink, you feel the slimiest, soggiest, and squishiest substance of all time? Great googly moogly. Bro, this shit makes me jump up on my skin like Felix the Cat. My hand pulls back quicker than a black mamba strike. It's usually bread, cereal, or something like that. It's even worse when it clogs the sink, you gotta dig it out like you're mining for gold. I'd rather pimp slap a cactus before I go through this shit, bro. This scenario usually disgusts me more than it does piss me off, but nevertheless, it still deserves a mention on this list. Next, trying to make it from one class to the next, except everybody in the hallway forgets how to take more than one step per minute. These niggas deadass build a fucking indestructible barrier like the Great Wall of China or something, and they always roll in herds like fucking wildebeests. I would literally be walking behind someone and they would stop directly in front of me to talk to their friend. And it's the worst time ever. It's, it's, it's like... When, when, when you're, you're in a rush. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like when it's like two minutes till the bang, till the bell rings and then you just get greeted with these people. 
when you have a lot of time to get to your class, they, they don't be appearing like that. Yeah. It's like so much restraint to try not to William more these niggas. It's even worse when you would get pinned against the wall. But then it got to a point where I just started bodying niggas about the way. It didn't matter. Boy, girl, everybody could catch the smoke. These have to be some of the most entitled people on the planet, bro. Next. When someone leaves your room and you specifically tell them to close the door, but these morbid individuals insist on leaving it with a bigger crack than Kim K. I and chances are, if I want you to close the door, I'm trying to watch something. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to watch that one thing. I swear, it was always my siblings that assaulted me with this heinous act. But if I hit that ass with a Batista bomb, then I'm the bad guy. I swear they did this just to try and make my day worse, bro. Just follow simple instructions. Next, insects. Every single one of them. But more notably, flies and mosquitoes. I'm already convinced that these profane creatures were sent here just to piss us off and make our lives harder than a school sandwich. I'm pretty sure flies are just sent from aliens to spy on us or something. Them niggas stay buzzing around my face and my food. But whenever I catch one in the crib, I don't sleep until that nigga's laid out like a carpet from Ikea. But them niggas be swift as fuck. And mosquitoes just be out here spreading diseases like Magic Johnson. Bugs as a whole just need to be exterminated expeditiously. Next. Now before you fetuses started getting AirPods at the prepubescent age of 8, we had earbuds with actual wires. And they got tangled more than Rapunzel. By the end of the day, my earbuds would deadass look like Medusa's hair. I swear, some of the days I wouldn't even use them and they would still look like a fucking pretzel. These but you would feel super productive when you untangle them because you're like, ah, look yeah, back again, like I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, like type gotta... shit. You, you just feel like, you know, you, you're doing the right thing. These things that us had a mind of their own, bro. Another thing that was pretty common was that they would get caught on a doorknob or something when you were walking by. That shit would pull me back like Sandy Cheek's lasso. I would deadass be ready to start fighting the door, bro. Next. People who chew with their mouth open. This is probably the most common pet peeve on this list. Not only is it fucking ruthless to see this sludge get tossed around these motherfuckers' mouths, but the ludicrous noises that project from these niggas' mouths would be enough for anybody to Van Gogh themselves. Am I the only one that doesn't care only because I feel like, bro, I, if the food is good, bro, Sometimes you gotta let them like chill, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't be paying it. I feel like it's only annoying if you pay attention to it and do it. It's hard to like, it's hard to like distract yourself from it though. I feel like it's pretty annoying. Yeah. And they be fiending too, bro. Like, calm down, the food isn't going anywhere. Like, these niggas really think this is an ASMR session in real life. And we all know those little cousins or siblings that be smacking the fuck out their food when playing on their iPads or something. Next, when your parents call you downstairs, so you do as any loving child does and respond. But then these niggas go ghost like Danny Phantom and don't answer you. Even if you're screaming at the top of your lungs like Explode, it's dead fucking silent. Like, did these niggas vanish out of thin air like the Indominus Rex after they called me? So now you gotta make your way downstairs since they wanna cosplay Reagan from a quiet place. This also applies to text messages and phone calls. Calls. Like someone could call you and let's say you miss it so you call them back like 10 seconds later And then these niggas don't answer like where the fuck did you go? They must have thrown their phone out the window or something bro And they got the nerve to text you back days later. Just go ahead and delete my number bro Next people who smoke cigarettes I could probably rant about these threatening entities for 30 minutes But I'm gonna keep this segment shorter than Kevin Hart These niggas fuck up my lungs and I'm not even the one hitting that venomous stick of death Bro every time somebody who's smoking a cigarette walks past me my face shrivels up like a fucking year old apple or something And then they got the nerve to try to be talking all up in your face My nigga if you don't get away from me with that nicotine nonsense i'm i'm not gonna lie the fact that there's people out here that are smoking cigarettes knowing the effects is gonna have knowing that you're shortening your lifespan knowing that, that how expensive it is yeah bro your ass don't care there's about no anything taste good there's no way there's no way there's no way hey chat should we try some try <laughs> i already knew you were gonna say that hell no know, bro hell no you cannot pay me yeah this woman I used to work with used to go through like a pack of these a day, bro. No bullshit. Always tainting my senses with her fucking contaminated scents. Her ass is really cosplaying wheezing from Pokemon with her fucking smog attacks, bro. I don't even know why these are still accessible to the general public. These niggas are dead ass speed running life, bro. The same thing goes for the niggas who vape, but if you watch this video, you already know how I feel about them. Next. When the teacher leaves the cursor on the bar when we're watching like a movie or something. All you gotta do is use the space bar, bro. Once this kid got up and moved the mouse himself. Another thing is when they don't make the video full screen. So now niggas gotta squint their eyes harder than fry to try and see the screen but if you watch this video they already know that most of my teachers didn't know how to operate technology next when you just got finished eating the most delectable scrumptious and luscious grub of all time and nature calls so you go to lay down the hershey's bar and the porcelain pooper but when you finish you realize that there's no toilet paper in sight so now you gotta there's something called water there's something called water and washing your ass with soap I don't care what anyone says. That is the most sanitized version of cleaning yourself. I know some of y'all, it, it might be a wild concept to y'all, but I like, bro, you could wash. When you wash clothes, how do you wash it? With water, right? Because it cleans the stains. I think it's Nigga, like I'm cleaning the stains. Huh? Wait, wait, what are you talking about one more time? You're talking about like. I, meaning I wash my ass. Nigga, I wash my ass. Like in the shower? Or are you talking about like. like Nigga, uh, meaning like if I do some shit in, in the bathroom, I wash my ass. Like, do you get into the shower? or like Meaning, like, like, you know, like a bidet? Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, nigga, okay. water goes in. But you do you know, get up yeah, and go to the sink? Y'all, relax, like, relax. Like, you know, the no, 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 stop. Like, this is TMI, this is TMI, this is TMI. Do you get up to the sink and like, then, like, spread them through the sink? Or, like, do you go into the shower? 
Or are you saying oh, the shower? Oh, God. Okay. Wait, okay. So you shower after every shower. Bro, bro, stop talking about cleaning your ass, all right? Like, relax. Use the shower curtain. But in all seriousness, I was scarred from this experience when I had first happened to me. So now I check beforehand to make sure I won't be stranded in the bathroom. Next. Just walking around the crib and you randomly bump your arm or stub your toe on a counter or table. This shit always catches me off guard. And what's worse is that there's like a three second grace period before the pain settles in. I swear the pain doesn't hit until way after bro. Now all I can do is sit anxiously and wait for the pain to shoot through my veins like a fucking Ben 10 transformation. This shit literally brings tears to my eyes. And god forbid you ever hit a funny bone because that's a whole different story bro. Next. That friend that's always begging for food like you'll go out of your way to ask them if they want to get something to eat and they'll swear up and fucking down that they don't need it facts or not chat food tastes better when it's not yours facts anything but yeah. then once you get something to eat they've got their fucking hand out like squidward bro this is not a charity this is the worst when you're in like i'll taste the greatest chips when i ask someone for it but when it comes to mine it'll class and you're trying to eat something now you got eight different niggas begging for food like seagulls next when you get those big ass ads on a website or something like that so then you try to close it but no matter how slow and precise you try to hit the x you end up hitting the ad and now it takes you across the fucking galaxy like the magic school bus it's like the x is microscopic compared to my finger bro and finally when you've got a craving for some cereal so you go pour yourself some in a bowl and make your way over to the fridge and you're met with a sight scarier than Krishan rock there's no dairy juice anywhere in the fridge dog i legit fall yeah, down to my order. knees in anguish every time bro i wouldn't wish this shit on my worst enemy but hey i think that's gonna be it for this video man comment down below your most annoying pet peeve and what else you like to see from me in the future chat what is y'all pet peeve my pet peeve is is when i misplay something like like in my mind when i'm when i'm convinced i placed it somewhere and and i'm trying to find it and i i literally cannot find it my biggest pet peeve is probably pda i don't like seeing couples like go crazy oh like, and like get too like weird. It's like, what are you doing? Like, how are you? Oh no, no, bro. Like, if a couple, if, if a couple makes me cringe, I mean, like, whatever, nigga, I'm making them cringe. Meaning, like, I'm recording. Like, look at your ass. Like, like, like you record, like, like. No, no, meaning, meaning, like, I start, I start sewing with it. The there's material. no, there's no, 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 no that, 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 that was sewing. Like, I oh. want to make them awkward by sewing, nigga. Oh, okay. That's what yeah. I meant. But anyways, YouTube, that does um, conclude the video. Um, if you're watching me, too, make sure you guys subscribe. Join us on Discord. Catch us on Twitch for live every day. Link in the description. Um, Watch for life. Love y'all. And peace.